Hey everybody, welcome to this tips and tricks video. My name is Dave Hiddeman, the application specialist for the steel segment here at Trimble. And um, today I wanted to do sort of a follow-up video. Uh, I had spoken, I don't know, maybe two months ago about um, model templates and creating your, old, uh, your own model template. And one of the things that has come up uh, with some folks that I've talked to since then is, you know, what other types of things can I put in my model template? And one of those is um, customizing your applications and components catalog. Um, hopefully everybody is familiar with their component catalog and this is where you can find all of your, your steel connections and all of your macros and things like that. Um, but it is possible to customize this a bit and then save that away in your model template. So I just want to show you a couple of cool things we can do here. Uh, first off, I'm using the U.S. Imperial Environment, so my uh, list may look a little bit different from than yours, depending on where you're at. Um, I've also got some extra stuff loaded onto my machine, so don't get, you know, too confused if your um, selection on the, the right-hand side here does not match mine. Um, what I want to focus on is what we can do with some of these components that we have in here, especially if it's something you use a lot. For example, Clip Angle 141 is a joint that I use often um, when I'm doing clip angle connections. So there's a couple of neat things that I can do with this. Uh, one, if you click on this little drop down to the lower right of the thumbnail, uh, you can see there's a description, um, there's some types and groups and tags. Uh, so you can actually change the description here if you want to add or edit your own text, something to explain what this joint can do for you. Um, there's a lot of terminology that uh, you may use in your office or you may use in your industry that is not in our catalog. So you can actually come in here and create your own tags. You know, this is called a clip angle, but what if I just called this, um, what if I called this my standard shear connection? I would want to put a tag called shear in this so that if someone else or if I later want to come back here and search for the word shear, I can do so and it's going to bring up that clip angle 141 where it may not have before. So you can add your own keywords um, that you can hit again, hit that little drop down, come down here, click the little plus sign next to the tag and put your own keyword in there for stuff that makes sense to you. Uh, like I said, I've I've been doing this for a few years now, talking to a wide range of industries, and I've found out that not everybody uses the same term for things. Um, so that's really helpful for being able to, you know, teach Tecla or, or set up Tecla for your terminology. Now, something else that's really important for people is being able to create their own groups. Now, obviously, we have our own groups here, steel detailing, beam to column connections, beam to beam connections, and so on. Um, I also have an ungrouped items because I've added a bunch of stuff, and then Tecla automatically creates a recent group for anything that I've done recently. Uh, but you can create your own groups by right-clicking in this space and then clicking New Group. So if I click on New Group, I can give this a name. Uh, I'm going to call this Dave's Favorites. And now this group, I can start to add connections to this group. So let me go back again to that steel detailing, beam to beam connections. Let me grab that 141. I can right click, add to group, Dave's faves. And uh, maybe bent plate 151 is something I use a lot. Maybe uh, shear tab 146 is something I use a lot. So as you can see, you can very quickly come in here and put together a group of favorites um, so that you're always accessing stuff you do often. It doesn't just have to be components. It can be extensions, it can be macros, it can be anything that's showing up in this applications and components catalog. Okay, And there's a lot more that you can do with this. You can create subgroups and you can move these groups. Um, so there's, you know, quite a bit of customization, but I didn't really want to spend too much time on that. These tips and tricks are supposed to be relatively quick. Just know that you can create your own group of favorites here. Um, now, what you want to do though is make sure that this gets saved away so you're not setting this up every time. Now if you haven't created a model template yet, um, you can go watch my video. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description, uh, but basically you can go up here to your file menu and say save as and then save as model template. Um, so if you haven't made a template yet, create your favorite groups and then go ahead and make your model template. They'll automatically be included. But let's say you've already made your model template. Now I want to put this stuff in there, or maybe I have an existing job and I want to go put my favorites in that job that we're already working on. These changes to your applications and components catalog 
um, they actually get added to a file that gets created in the model folder. So if I go ahead and open up my model folder here, um, there is going to be a uh, components catalogs file. Let me come scrolling down here a bit. Where are we at? There we go. So component catalog.xml might have helped if I had actually sorted by name. There we are. Um, so that component catalog XML is that tree breakdown. It is those saved groups of files. So what you want to do is take that XML and you want to copy it. Just copy that file and put it in your existing project or put it in your model template folder that you already have. So you're actually going to update just the catalog either in that template or in that working model. So that's the file that you need, componentcatalog.xml. That's going to contain all of those changes. And if I go back and later add more to Dave's faves, I just take that fresh copy of the XML and put it in that uh, existing model or model template again. Okay, so just a real quick uh, tip this month. Like I said, came up recently with some folks, so I thought I'd throw it out there. Um, again, I will put the link in the description for the um, model template how to video in case you haven't seen that. Um, leave some comments and thoughts below. Uh, if you have any requests, you're kind of curious how to do something, you can leave that below as well. Um, as always, I hope you found this helpful, and thanks for watching.